Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Matthew the Apostle and the Evangelist. We remember on September 21st every year a person who removed his name from the list of tax collectors of Galilee and who enrolled himself into that everlasting list of the 12 apostles of Jesus Christ and to the biblical canon of the holy evangelist an apostle an evangelist and above all a martyr for Christ saint matthew the evangelist being a disciple of jesus is a matter of constant transformation a transformation that one needs to undergo within a person in relation to the call that the master gives the name matthew signifies the gift of yahweh Perhaps Matthew wanted to offer himself as the best gift of all and it was the intervention of Jesus that must have made the meaning of his name and mission in a perfect manner while he was sitting at the tax booth Jesus said to him follow me he rose and followed the master yes it was a rising rising from the past sinful life Matthew rose and followed him at once whom he had realized as Emmanuel God with us on that day at the tax booth he saw Jesus the fulfillment of all the old testament prophecies and the new Moses who is going to lead the new Israel Matthew experienced immense love and trust Jesus had for him in his invitation that he may not have experienced from anyone else so that day was a day of celebration a return of the prodigal son and he gave a banquet he became a faithful follower who could originate a tradition of the life of jesus the gospel he presented the human origin and face of jesus the good news is available to everyone jesus came for the conversion of sinners many of the disciples of jesus were people who converted themselves from past sinful life to a life of holiness we find many others like saint paul saint peter saint mary magdalene and sakeus and the thief at the cross along with saint matthew saint matthew and other saints converted themselves accepting the challenge of jesus in their life saint matthew got the master and his mission right so he penned down the words of the master which says Go therefore make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all that I command you